Hey guys, so I know we haven't posted a vlog in a while, and some of you already know what was going on through, um, if you follow us on our social networks or through comments on our vlog here, but before we start vlogging again regularly, which I'm going to post a regular vlog tomorrow, I thought that I should make this video for those of you who don't know what happened yet and for those of you who want to know the whole story. So you guys knew that our cat Harp was sick. So first of all, thank you so much for the to the people who were sending out good energy to Harp. But oh, crap. Okay, sorry. I just still hard for me to talk about. So two weeks ago, Harp passed away. I tried to hold off on making this video so I wasn't like blubbering the whole time, and you guys could understand me. And I thought Harp was getting better, but then a couple weeks ago, she just, she took a turn for the worst. Um, I woke up and I saw Harp trying to walk, and every time she would try to walk, she would just fall over. She couldn't hold herself up. So I took her back to the vet, and when the vet examined her, she said that her temperature was really low. She was only 92 degrees and a normal temperature for a cat is a hundred and about a hundred and five degrees and the vet said that um, that happens right before <laughs> that happens right before an animal starts to die and the vet was <laughs> the vet was <laughs> the vet was afraid that I was dying sorry you guys I know I don't usually show you guys this side of me I just I feel like I need to get this video out and I just I can't really talk about this without getting emotional but so the vet said that she thought that heart might be dying and all we could do was take it day by day and like she gave Harp some fluids and uh, the vet told me that she wasn't in any pain so I decided that I wanted to take her home since she wasn't suffering and let her die naturally and let her die with me if she had to go. And so I brought her home and I moved her bed to her, the couch like her little heated pad and I laid with her the whole night. I held my I had my arm around her. <laughs> And I only slept an hour that night, and in that hour I, I had a dream that Hart got better. But when I woke up, she, she still wasn't doing very well. So I, I told Harp that if she had to go, she could go. She, she didn't have to stay for me. That. I would miss her a lot, but I would be okay, and I understood that, that she needed to go if she wanted to, and, and then I just laid with her for the rest of the night, and I just, I kept telling her that I loved her a lot, and somehow I just knew, like, I just knew she wasn't gonna last long, there was just so little of her left, you know, then at about 8.30 in the morning, I had a strong feeling that she was about to die. So I went to the bedroom and I woke up John and I said that Harp's gonna go soon if you want to say goodbye to her. So John woke up and the dogs woke up at that time too, so I moved her Harp and her heated pad into the bedroom here and I shut the door because I didn't want the, the dogs to disturb her. And we pet her and we said our goodbyes in about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, she, she went. She went with both John and I petting her. And, sorry. So, that's why I haven't been posting vlogs. I have been doing better. It's just when I, when I start to, to talk about it, you know, like, I still miss her. I'm. I'm gonna miss her for the rest of my life, you know. It's, it's been really weird. Like, Harp has been in my life for 22 years. She's 
almost as old as I am. So it's just, it's strange, you know, I've seen her pretty much every single day for 22 years and now she's not here anymore and, and it sucks, you know, like, I mean, I understand, I know 22 is a long time for a cat to live, but still there was a part of me that hoped that Hart could beat the world record of oldest living cat that she could live a really long time. I just, I loved her a lot. So John and I were mourning for a while. I just, I felt like I needed the world to stop for a little bit. And like John was, John had been so good to me throughout this whole thing. He was right there crying with me. And, you know, when Hart was, when she was dying, I was trying not to cry too loud because I didn't want to scare her. I just, I wanted to give her a really peaceful, you know, as nice a death as possible. And then, um, we got her cremated. I have her ashes back now, and I don't know what I wanted to do with them. I didn't know, like, after she died, what I wanted to do with the body. I thought that, like, there's something that I like about being buried and going back to the earth, but, like, we don't know where we're gonna live. We're not gonna stay here forever, so, you know, I can't keep a corpse in my house, obviously, so... We went and we got her cremated and um, I'm either going to put her ashes in the woods at my mom's house because she liked to play there or when we find a house that we're going to live forever, I'm, we're, we thought that it might be nice to like plant a tree in her ashes so that she becomes part of the tree. My mom said that, you know, even if you're cremated that the minerals are still there. And then my mom also said it sounds like she died just like people die. My mom says she hears stories like that all the time. Like people who are dying of cancer, they start to feel better for a day or two before they die and then just take a turn for the worse. And that's what happened to Harp. But Harp was a great cat. I've had her pretty much my whole life, as you guys already know. And she was so patient with me when I was a little girl. And she was just a wonderful companion when, as I was an adult. And I'm gonna miss her a lot. I'm gonna really miss her. She was amazing. And it sucks, and it hurts a lot. It just, it sucks that animals can't live as long as we do. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, all I can do is try to give a wonderful life to as many animals as possible while I'm alive. And thank you to all the people who wrote us nice messages on Facebook and tweeted us nice messages. Like, that means a lot to us that there are other people out there who are animal lovers just like us who like, understand what we're going through. And I know that it might be hard for some people to understand like some people don't have that same bond but like <clears throat> please understand like why I needed a little bit of a break like I love my animals a lot it's like it's like a sister or a daughter died I just I love them that much I'm that attached to them I had my my mom get me some pictures that of harp that I had at her house and I'll I'll show those to you in a little bit. Here's Harp when she was young and healthy. I wanted some pictures of when she was young to remember her by. Because, you know, when she was older she started to get real thin. And here's a picture of me holding Harp when I was about seven years old. And another thing, if you guys have pets, please, please take lots of pictures of them. Because I don't have very many pictures of Harp when I was young. It was before the time of digital cameras, and I wish I had more pictures of Harp when she was young and healthy. So please, like, remember to do that if you love your pets, because when they're gone and you don't have very many pictures, it really sucks. So thank you guys for being patient with me and understanding, and I will have a new vlog up tomorrow. I'm starting to get my life back together again, and yeah, I went out with my friends the other night, and I filmed that, so 
there'll be a new vlog up tomorrow, and rest in peace, Harp. I love you a lot, and I miss you every day. <laughs>